Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to resolve the problem with signing into Azure form in Visual Studio 2022. Recently, I was worked on Azure App Service and uh, whenever I publish that service into the Azure, then I face the Azure sign-in problem in Visual Studio. So luckily, I got resolved it and I want to share that what uh, the steps I follow to resolve it. So it may help with you. So let's flip to Visual Studio and we'll see that what the issue I have faced and how I got resolved. So this is the applications that I've created Azure of service and I want to publish this into Azure. So let's click on a publish and here we need to select as Azure and go to the next and I want to host my applications into Azure of service Linux. So click it and go to the next. So here you can see that I have already uh, logged in my Microsoft account and I need to have a uh, sign in in my Azure portal. So here I click on sign in and it pop up the embedded browser that is uh, default to the Visual Studio. So let's I'll make my email ID here. So my Azure portal is a two-factor authentication with the GitHub. So it's asking me to the GitHub login. So click on the next. So here you can see though it is uh, use the embedded browser. So some of the script error will come. So, so for now I'll make us yes and uh, I'll continue it. So let's put the GitHub login credential. Click on sign in. So it asked me the two factor authentication code to put. So I put my authentication code here. Click on verify. So here you can see the two factor authentication is failed and sometimes it passed, but it is not uh, recognized as a login user for uh, Azure portal. So what the steps that I have followed to resolve it so I'll share it might be it will help you so let's close it and cancel it and you can see that currently my uh, browser is selected as a default as Azure browser so what I understood from this is also the for visual studio the browser is selected as embedded so to change it so let's go to the tools and click on options and in the environment sections there is accounts here is select as embedded browser so instead of embedded browser let's choose a system web browser right so that means it will be uh, asked for authentication in our web browser so that will be make to resolve it so let's in on system web browser and click on ok and apparently my though my browser is the age browser so what i do that here i will log in with the azure portal And at the same time, though my Azure portal is it depends upon the GitHub, so I will also log in with the GitHub as well. So you can see it is already the GitHub is already logged in, and uh, let's me do the login in Microsoft Azure. So here my Azure portal is logged in successfully. So let's go to the Visual Studio, then click here. So select as it. Linux then go to the next so here you need to click on sign in so you can see it will open the web browser and click here so though the github and the azure portal is logged in already successfully so it also the logged in fine so let's move to the visual studio and close it and let's open it again So now you can see my subscription name is pop up perfectly and if I go for the create new instance so you can see that the app service Linux and all the information has pop up perfectly then I will go ahead and I can do the publish into the Azure app service. So this is the step that you are facing the issue uh, to log in with your Azure account in Visual Studio. So in this step you can do that and make sure you should have select the 
options are system web browser so to do this go to the tools and options and the system web browser so this is mandatory to reserve it that's it for the video thanks for watching